the first book I wrote was a book called Where Is God When It Hurts? Eventually, if you read the memoir, you'll figure out why I started with pain. But uh, because of that, and because it's been out for a long time, I am called to speak to trauma. In Virginia Tech, Japan after the tsunami, places like that. And there are some questions that I do not attempt to even pretend to answer. And I, I wish we all should. Keep silent. Why did a tornado hit this town in Louisiana and not that one? This town in Georgia and not that one? Why did the leukemia hit this three-year-old and not his neighbors? Nobody knows the answer to that question. Just let's keep silent. We don't know, and the Bible doesn't tell us. It just does not. It's, it's so crucial to understand that God is on the side of the one who suffers, not the one causing the suffering. And I, I, I am so confident of that answer because God gave us a face. And Hebrew says it's the exact image of the invisible God, Jesus is. And if you want to know how God feels about someone who just lost their son, Follow Jesus around and see how he responded to a widow who just lost her son, or even a Roman soldier whose servant had fallen ill. Jesus always responds with comfort and compassion and healing. And sometimes art can be that solace, that channel of God's grace. And, and sometimes it, it is words uh, that they help as well. But what we as Christians are called to do is to bring that that note of comfort and hope 